Hey everyone, thanks for clicking the video. Um, wanted to react to some uh, some recent Browns free agent pickups, uh, at least from the last time I made a video, to being uh, defensive players we added now to our defense, which I think is fantastic and much needed, which we can all agree. Um, the two names being Anthony Walker, and we just uh, got news that Malik Jackson just signed with us as well. So Anthony Walker is on a one-year deal, uh, linebacker, or he's formerly of the Indianapolis Colts. And uh, we also got Malik Jackson, which that news just recently came out, and he'll be an interior D-line D guy, uh, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles. And he also has experience with uh, playing for the Denver Broncos, and that's when Joe Woods was there working on the defensive coaching staff. So I'm sure he probably had some say and input weighing into bringing him along. Um, quick reaction to this. I, I, I like both signings a lot. Um, they're uh, Malik Jackson's financials, I haven't seen anything yet on him, but I'm assuming it's going to be relatively cheap. So both guys are coming for one-year deals, relatively cheap. Um, rotational pieces. Uh, Anthony might Anthony Walker might end up being more of a player we rely on, kind of like a B.J. Goodson level production, which is good and bad, I guess. Um, Malik Jackson, I just imagine him being like a rotational depth person which is also we need a lot of help still on defensive line, and I still wouldn't be surprised if we get another cheap-level veteran for another DN position, whether that technically be um, excuse me, behind Miles Garrett or uh, opposite of him, whether, I don't know, whether they got just you know, he rotates on both sides or if he just kind of splits off on one side or the other, either uh, playing behind a McKinley, who we just recently signed. Um, nonetheless, though, pretty happy about both. I think Anthony Walker is going to be a great addition. Um, if you guys have noticed uh, from just watching uh, or seeing online uh, kind of comments from Indianapolis Colts fans, they all liked him, which is very rare for a player leaving a team. Typically, we're all biased as NFL fans in any sport. When a player leaves your team, you kind of t tend to talk crap about him. And the fact that the Colts fans are not is actually pretty awesome and impressive. They're saying he's a liability in coverage, but a pretty good run stopper. So I guess sounds like B.J. Goodson all over again. Um, I did find it interesting listening to a Browns um, radio podcast I listened to. And uh, they mentioned that um, he, uh, Anthony Walker actually had a lower PFF grade than B.J. Goodson did this past year, which I thought was pretty interesting, especially since I'm assuming PFF grades, which I know for everyone could kind of um, – take it for a grain of salt or put a lot of weight into it it all depends on one's feelings about the analytics i guess you can say but i would imagine that they're kind of closer closely associated to kind of what browns finance or analytics probably have as well when it comes to these players assuming it's not too far off not that maybe they're using the same information um yeah I'm a little bit surprised from that standpoint that they actually went with a guy that has a little bit uh or i don't know if it's a little bit or not but he has a lower pff grade than uh, B.J. Goodson did this past year. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Nonetheless, though, I'm pretty happy about him um, adding to our linebacker room. I think he'll be much needed help, and I think he'll probably play that B.J. Goodson role, which is kind of the main guy for uh, on a cheaper contract and hopefully having some of the younger guys step up and kind of build around him. So I wouldn't be surprised if linebacker we don't really touch that much anymore. Quite frankly, we might add like one guy in the draft or maybe a one later on free agent, that's about it. As far as Malik now, um, Malik Jackson, he's much needed in tier D line help. So that's going to be his uh, role. I see him as more of a depth piece. And I think that's uh, kind of just what to expect. I wouldn't expect anything crazy from him. Just a veteran guy that can give you some uh, uh, decent snap count during a game and hopefully just kind of have some, be able to fill in while some guys, some of our starters end up resting which I think is much needed. I wouldn't be surprised if we still add at least one or two defensive guys on the defensive line, um, just in free agency. And that's before even the draft. I think it, as we all know, especially this past year, um, when a guy goes down, we need depth to help this defensive line, especially with our current situation where I think as of right now, we're a little bit worse off since we really don't have any upgrade from Olivier Vernon at the moment. Not saying that won't happen, but at the moment we do not. So anytime we um, I, I, we get a free agency signing or draft pick, if they're to the D line, that's a huge help. Uh, we need it. Um, so that's why I wouldn't be surprised if we get uh, one or two more guys in the free agency. 
and that's before the draft and then the draft i'm sure I'm, I'm assuming probably not i like assuming but i'm pretty safe to assume they're going to be drafting at least probably one or two guys in the defensive line as well but nonetheless as far as the two guys overall they're going to be cheaper one-year deals so i think they're great rotational pieces um and yeah joe woods has experience with uh, malik jackson so i'm sure he put in a good word for him and then uh, all Colts fans are talking up um, Anthony Walker. And I saw that, um, uh, what's his name, Darius Leonard had a message about him, about how much of a leader he was in the locker room and all that stuff. And any time a player, obviously, with that kind of status, or who he's a beast, um, says that about another player in that locker room, that tells you that he's a really nice, uh, really good dude. And he'll be great for the locker room chemistry and all that, which I think is totally worth the dollar amount, let alone his production on the field especially for our defense, which I think we could all agree kind of needs that um, more of a leadership, more of a clarity, more of a, hey, let's not have our safeties lose our assignments or our cornerbacks lose our assignments, as we saw many times last year. I think don't be surprised if that gets cleaned up a bit with um, obviously Joe Woods being here again, not implementing the new defensive system for the first time, and then having guys that can actually understand how this game works and communicate effectively, unlike last year with some of our guys, I feel like. Um, not targeting any one safety, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, I'm very happy about the two signings, and I think uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the end of um, moves that we see from Andrew Barry. Not saying there'll be anything crazy, but still, still expect to see a lot of these one-year deals, kind of like last year, start to pop up pretty soon too. I think. But uh, nonetheless, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, creating some Browns content, and uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.